Why are we still receiving femicidal headlines every day while we wake up? Why are people still killing our women every day while we go to sleep? And why are, is there still femicidal cases in our country? Why? Check this for instance. This is Eunice days before her mutilated body will be collected and retrieved from a river. Eunice Wanja, a 19 years old girl from Kirinyaga and a student from Mbere North TVC who was pursuing a diploma in food and beverage. She got an attachment for three months in one of the hotels in Gong Road. After the attachment and her internship, she surely qualified and was employed in one of the hotels and was supposed to be working during weekends. She reported to work and was supposed to report to work on Friday the 22nd and back home in the evening. On the 23rd of November, she woke up as usual to report to work. But Wanjiku did not know what was in for her. If she knew, she would have still been alive. On Saturday the 23rd, Eunice Wanjiku left her home at Mwiki at 5 a.m. for work as usual. While on her way to work, she was attacked by goons and thugs and nemophoniacs and unknown people and killed and her mutilated body dumped into a river. As usual, people back at home tried calling her that fateful day, but apparently her phone was off the whole day. So they waited for her in the evening, but unfortunately Eunice never made it back home that fateful day. Her concerned sister reported the disappearance to the police at Mwiki police station, but the police as usual gave her sister the 72 hours protocol. And after the 72 hours were over, her family went back to the police on Monday and reported back the matter. But the police told the family they were going to look into the matter. But before that, they had to confirm something, a confirmation that will leave the family mourning and crying out loud for justice. This is what happened. The police told the family that they had retrieved and collected a mutilated body of a young woman of about 19 to 20 years old at 7 a.m. on Saturday the 23rd. And her body had been taken to the CC mortuary. So the family would go to confirm if that body was the body of Eunice Wanjiku. And upon reaching the city mortuary, the family surely confirmed that indeed that was the body of their daughter and, the, and their sister's Eunice. Now, my subscribers, for the last four months, they are, these are the kind of headlines we have been receiving every day. But the biggest question is why are still people killing our own women? Why? It is so sad to kill a woman. It is very, very heartbreaking. This, this news are heartbreaking news. We send our condolences to the family of Eunice. And for that, let's take four seconds of silence for Eunice. May her soul rest in peace. And to Mwiki Police Station, we hope that justice for Eunice will be served. And we hope that an immediate investigation will be conducted and the culprits and the goons and the buffoons will be brought to justice. May justice be served. May justice be served. And let's stop femicide hashtag stop femicide hashtag end femicide if you like this video please help help us spread this message and consider subscribing to this youtube channel for more updates like this and keep it clean flicks share and comment 
subscribe recently femicide imekuwa a major topic of conversation with many Kenyans raising concerns about the rising number of deaths a report by the national police service ilionesha kuwa at least 97 women have been killed over the past 3 months while constitution ya Kenya ina guarantee the right to life and equal protection under the law hakuna sheria specific in address femicide as a distinct crime the penal code in a criminalized murder na manslaughter lakini femicide You'll find that perpetrators will receive lenient sentences ama wana avoid punishment altogether. As much as Kenya's Protection Against Domestic Violence Act 2015 ni progressive in some aspects, ni important to note that ina lack sufficient mechanisms to protect women from violence, especially before it escalates to murder. For instance, the law allows courts to issue protection orders, but many victims wana face significant barriers in access these legal protections. So what are the solutions? Following the End Femicide Kenya March in early 2024, activists will call for a complete overhaul of legal and social systems to prevent gender-based violence before it escalates. His efforts pamoja na media coverage zimeongeza awareness ya femicides, lakini government level bado kuna kazi. By addressing both the legal gaps and cultural norms in Azochangia violence, Kenya is a make strides kubwa toward ending femicide and protecting the lives of women. The government, civil society, and ordinary citizens must work together to break the cycle of violence and ensure that no more lives are lost to intimate partner femicide. Femicide and is a thing. It is a taxi driver here who is a female. It, it has been uh, uh, intimate partner violence who are women. All those Airbnb stories, women. Kwaredam, women. So we cannot, we are not going to ignore it anymore. It is women. Women are being killed. Yes, we are saying there are one or two men, exceptions. But femicide, Mr. Speaker, is a thing. And you know, we can't keep ignoring women. This is why we don't have a minister of gender. Because anytime we try to put our heads up and say women, we are being sat on. Someone stands and says it's not an issue of women. It's an issue of women. Tell me how many women have died in the last six months. And then you tell me how many men have been kidnapped and killed in the last six months. We are here to represent women, Mr. Speaker. And what we want is that femicide be recognized as a national disaster. Because we already have murder being dealt with. But femicide where women are being targeted, specifically women, Mr. Speaker, that is the problem. Mr. President, we, we, we are tired. Just do something, give us a gender minister, give us a special program and the, and the Ministry of Interior, and our women need to be protected. That is the story here. Femicide has no region. I'm from Garissa and it is happening right in Garissa. It happens in Mombasa. It happens in Nairobi. It's happening everywhere. We want to appeal to the government to talk about this. Al-Shabaab, tunapika kelele. Ini kama Al-Shabaab na watu wanauliwa. Na au wanaume wenye wanaua watu na wanataka kukai Kenya na sisi. Hamuta kaa, tutawapeleka kamiti na mutakuwa wanawake murudi inje kama njini ni wanawake. Tunasema asanti kwa everyone who is here and we will fight as women leaders. We will fight for the rights of the women of this Kenya. Na Rachel angekuwa hapa leo. First lady of the republic should have been here with us today. But I know she is hearing us. Please, please, let's fight for the women of Kenya together. Thank you very much and God bless you.